Uh, hi, I'm Vivek Gupta. I'm a partner with KPMG and I head the m and tax practice uh, for KPMG in India. Uh, while talking about Union Budget 2018, I have three core issues to talk about. The first and the most important issue is that from an Indian standpoint, I think it's very important at this stage that capital flows into the economy and capital creation is encouraged by the government. And therefore, I'm a little wary of all the talk around inheritance tax, uh, long-term capital gains being brought back into listed equity, etc. happening in the marketplace. So one thing that I would look from the budget would be for no action to be taken which could hamper either capital creation or capital flows in the economy. The second point is around us we are seeing a whole slew of bank rationalization happening. So we are seeing distressed assets uh, being taken to the IBC and distressed assets otherwise being settled under bank programs. Some degree of relaxation on the tax side has come in for these programs in the form of minimum alternate tax being adjusted for companies uh, which are under the IBC. I would expect to see enunciation of clearer action steps on that count. For example, losses of such companies being available for transfer in a merger and so on. The third important element that this budget must cover is the excesses that I think have happened on anti-abuse provisions. Over time, over the last two, two to three years, We've seen a number of changes happening in Section 56, Section 50 of the Income Tax Act, which have sought to recharacterize transactions at fair value and disregard the value at which those transactions are otherwise happening. For a lot of cases, cases within the IBC, cases for listed companies, primary and secondary purchase of shares, for example, are hit by these anti-abuse provisions. So I would like to see relaxations there where while the thrust of these anti-abuse conditions is maintained, but the unintentional consequence of covering genuine bona fide transactions under their net and exposing them to adverse tax consequences is taken away.